Noether's theorem, named after the German mathematician Emmy Noether, is a fundamental result in modern physics. Let's dive into the details, what is Noether's theorem? Noether's theorem states that for every continuous symmetry in a physical system, there exists a conservation law. A symmetry of a physical system means a transformation that leaves its equations of motion unchanged. In other words, if the system behaves the same way under certain transformations, there is a corresponding conserved quantity. Mathematical formulation. Noether's theorem can be described using both Lagrangian and Hamiltonian mechanics. In Lagrangian mechanics, a symmetry is any transformation that changes the Lagrangian only by an arbitrary time derivative. Such a symmetry leads to a conservation law. The conservation law takes the form backslash frac d dt q equals zero, where q is the conserved quantity associated with the symmetry. In Hamiltonian mechanics, transformations are characterized by their generators, phase space functions, q. If the generator of a transformation has a vanishing Poisson bracket with the Hamiltonian, h q equals zero, the transformation is a symmetry, and the generator itself is conserved. Examples of Noether's theorem. Spatial translation symmetry leads to conservation of linear momentum. Rotational symmetry leads to conservation of angular momentum. Time translation symmetry leads to conservation of energy. Field theories. Noether's theorem can be formulated in classical and quantum field theories using Lagrangian mechanics. Remember, Noether's theorem connects symmetries to conservation laws, revealing the deep relationship between the fundamental principles of physics. Certainly, Noether's theorem, named after the German mathematician Emmy Noether, is a fundamental result in modern physics. Let's explore the proof step by step background. Noether's theorem connects symmetries of a physical system to conservation laws. A symmetry means a transformation that leaves the system's equations of motion unchanged. Mathematical formulation. Noether's theorem can be described using both Lagrangian and Hamiltonian mechanics. We'll focus on the Lagrangian approach. Lagrangian mechanics. Consider a physical system described by a Lagrangian function, L, Q, backslash dot, Q, T, where, Q, represents generalized coordinates, backslash dot, Q, are their time derivatives, and, T, is time. Suppose the Lagrangian is invariant under a continuous transformation, Q backslash to Q equals Q plus backslash epsilon backslash delta Q, where, backslash epsilon, is an infinitesimal parameter. The transformed Lagrangian, L, differs from, L, only by a total time derivative, L equals L plus backslash frac, df, dt, where, f, depends on, Q, backslash dot, Q, and, t. No Ether's theorem statement. If the Lagrangian has this symmetry, there exists a conserved quantity, q q equals backslash frac, backslash partial l, backslash partial backslash dot, q, backslash delta q, f. Proof. Take the time derivative of, q q equals backslash frac, d q, d t, equals backslash frac, d, d t, backslash left, backslash frac, backslash partial l, backslash partial backslash dot, q, backslash delta q, f backslash right. Using the product rule and the Euler Lagrange equation, we find q equals backslash frac, backslash partial l, backslash partial q, backslash delta q plus backslash frac, backslash partial l, backslash partial backslash dot, q, backslash delta backslash dot, q, backslash frac, df, dt equals zero. Since backslash delta q and backslash delta backslash dot q are arbitrary, we get backslash frac dq dt equals zero, implying that q is conserved. Examples. Spatial translation symmetry, conservation of linear momentum. Rotational symmetry, conservation of angular momentum. Time translation symmetry, conservation of energy. Noether's theorem beautifully connects symmetries to fundamental physical laws. Noether's theorem and gauge symmetries are closely related in the context of theoretical physics. Let's explore this connection, Noether's theorem. Emmy Noether formulated her theorem in 1918, revealing a profound link between symmetries and conservation laws. For every continuous symmetry in a physical system, such as spatial translation, rotation, or time translation, there exists a corresponding conserved quantity, for example, linear momentum, angular momentum, or energy. Noether's theorem applies to both classical mechanics and field theories. Global symmetries versus local gauge symmetries. Noether's original work considered global symmetries, associated with finite dimensional Lie groups. However, there is another aspect, local symmetries, associated with infinite dimensional Lie groups such as gauge transformations. Noether's second theorem specifically addresses local gauge symmetries but is less well known. Gauge symmetries. 
gauge theories, for example, electromagnetism, quantum chromodynamics, and electroweak theory, involve gauge symmetries. Gauge symmetries are crucial for understanding fundamental forces and particle interactions. Examples include U1, symmetry for electromagnetism and SU3, symmetry for strong interactions. Impact on equations of motion. Gauge symmetries affect the equations of motion for fields, for example, electromagnetic fields, quark fields. The presence of gauge symmetries leads to conserved quantities and other physical consequences. Boundary terms and asymptotic conditions. Recent research has explored the role of boundary terms in gauge theories. These boundary terms arise due to gauge symmetries and play a crucial role in understanding the system's behavior at infinity. In summary, Noether's theorem provides a powerful framework for understanding symmetries and their impact on physical laws, including the essential role of gauge symmetries in modern theoretical physics. Certainly, in physics, a gauge theory is a type of field theory where the Lagrangian, which describes the system's dynamics, remains unchanged under local transformations based on certain smooth families of operations, known as Lie groups. Let's break it down, gauge theory basics. Gauge invariance, the Lagrangian remains invariant under local transformations. Gauge transformations, these regulate redundant degrees of freedom in the Lagrangian. Symmetry group, associated with any Lie group, it defines the gauge transformations. Gauge fields, corresponding fields, usually vector fields, arise from the Lie algebra of group generators. Gauge fields and invariants. Gauge fields are included in the Lagrangian to ensure its invariance under local group transformations. When quantized, the quanta of gauge fields are called gauge bosons. Examples. Quantum electrodynamics, QED abelian gauge theory with the symmetry group U1, where the photon is the gauge boson. Standard model, non-abelian gauge theory with the symmetry group U1, SU2, SU3, involving 12 gauge bosons, including photons, weak bosons, and glooms. In summary, gauge theories play a crucial role in explaining the dynamics of elementary particles. Certainly, let's delve into how Noether's theorem is related to the Hamiltonian formulation of mechanics. Noether's theorem establishes a profound connection between symmetries and conservation laws in physical systems. Here's a detailed explanation, background. Noether's theorem, named after mathematician Emmy Noether, applies to both Lagrangian and Hamiltonian mechanics. While Noether's theorem is naturally formulated in the language of Lagrangian mechanics, it also has interesting features when expressed using Hamiltonian mechanics. Continuous symmetries and conserved quantized ties. Consider a physical system described by a Hamiltonian function, H, Q, P, where Q represents generalized coordinates and P are their conjugate momenta. If the system exhibits a continuous symmetry, there is an associated conserved charge or conserved quantity. For example, spatial translation symmetry leads to conservation of linear momentum, and rotational symmetry leads to conservation of angular momentum. Mathematical formulation in Hamiltonian mechanics. Suppose we have a one-parameter family of transformations, q underscore backslash sigma backslash to q underscore backslash sigma, q backslash zeta, where backslash zeta is the continuous parameter. At backslash zeta equals zero, this transformation is the identity q underscore backslash sigma, q zero equals q underscore backslash sigma. If the Lagrangian L is invariant under this transformation, we have 0 equals backslash frac d d backslash zeta L q underscore backslash sigma backslash dot q backslash sigma t backslash big backslash zeta equals 0. Using the chain rule and Euler Lagrange equation, we find an associated conserved charge, backslash lambda, backslash lambda equals backslash frac, backslash partial L, backslash partial backslash dot, Q, backslash sigma, backslash frac, DQ backslash sigma, D backslash zeta, backslash big underscore, backslash zeta equals zero. Examples. Angular momentum example. Consider a particle moving in two dimensions with a potential U registered trademark symbol. The conserved angular momentum about the z axis arises due to rotational symmetry. Linear momentum example. If the particle moves in a potential u y independent of x, the horizontal component of momentum is conserved. Hamiltonian versus Lagrangian. Noether's theorem can be explained using either Lagrangian or Hamiltonian mechanics. In Hamiltonian mechanics, transformations are characterized by their generators, phase space functions, q. If the generator has a vanishing Poisson bracket with the Hamiltonian H, Q equals zero, the transformation is a symmetry, and the generator itself is conserved. 
In summary, Noether's theorem beautifully connects symmetries to conserved quantite ties, and its formulation in Hamiltonian mechanics provides additional insights. Certainly, let's explore the connection between Noether's theorem and Poisson brackets, Noether's theorem. Noether's theorem establishes a link between symmetries in a physical system and conservation laws. It states that for every continuous symmetry, there exists a corresponding conserved quantity. Symmetries include spatial translation, rotation, and time translation. Poisson brackets. Poisson brackets are a mathematical tool in Hamiltonian mechanics. They relate the time evolution of canonical variables, generalized coordinates and momenta, in phase space. The Poisson bracket of two functions, f, p, q, and g, p, q, is defined as f, g, underscore, q, p, equals backslash sum underscore i backslash left backslash frac backslash partial f backslash partial q underscore i backslash frac backslash partial g backslash partial p underscore i backslash frac backslash partial f backslash partial p underscore i backslash frac backslash partial g backslash partial q underscore i backslash right. Noether's theorem and Poisson brackets. In Hamiltonian mechanics, Noether's theorem can be expressed using Poisson brackets. If a function is invariant under a symmetry transformation, its Poisson bracket with the generator of that transformation is zero. This leads to the conservation of the generator itself. Examples. Noether's theorem connects spatial translation symmetry to conservation of linear momentum, rotational symmetry to conservation of angular momentum, and time translation symmetry to conservation of energy. In summary, Poisson brackets play a crucial role in expressing Noether's theorem within the Hamiltonian framework. Certainly, the geometric interpretation of Poisson brackets provides insights into their significance in Hamiltonian mechanics and symptic geometry. Let's explore it, symptic geometry and phase space. In Hamiltonian mechanics, the phase space represents all possible states of a system. It consists of generalized coordinates, q, and their conjugate momenta, p. A symptic structure is defined by a non-degenerate, closed two-form, backslash omega, which characterizes the geometry of phase space. Poisson brackets a symptic structure. The Poisson bracket of two functions, f, q, p, and g, q, p, is given by, f, g equals backslash sum underscore i backslash left backslash frac backslash partial f backslash partial q underscore i backslash frac backslash partial g backslash partial p underscore i backslash frac backslash partial f backslash partial p underscore i backslash frac backslash partial g backslash partial q underscore i backslash right Geometrically, f, g represents the dot product in phase space between the gradient of f and the symptic gradient of g. Simple tick gradient. The simple tick gradient of a function, g, is given by, backslash partial g forward slash backslash partial p, backslash partial g forward slash backslash partial q. It is obtained by rotating the usual gradient by 90 degrees clockwise. Interpretation. The dot product interpretation has significance. Changes of coordinates, canonical transformations, in phase space preserve the Poisson bracket. Canonical transformations correspond to rotations that preserve the dot product between vectors. Quantite ties conserved in time, for example, f, q, p, t, are Poisson orthogonal to the Hamiltonian. In summary, the Poisson bracket's geometric interpretation lies in its role as a symptic structure, connecting Hamiltonian mechanics to symptic geometry. Certainly, symptic geometry finds practical applications in various areas of physics. Here are some examples, spacecraft trajectories. Simple tick techniques are used in designing spacecraft trajectories. Efficient numerical methods based on simple tick integrators help compute accurate trajectories for space missions. Analysis of chaotic systems. Chaotic systems, such as celestial mechanics or fluid dynamics, benefit from simple tick methods. Simple tick maps preserve the underlying Hamiltonian structure, making them suitable for studying chaotic behavior. Numerical methods for differential equations. Simple tick integrators provide stable and accurate numerical solutions for Hamiltonian systems. They maintain energy conservation and long-term stability, crucial for simulations in physics. Control systems. Simple tick geometry plays a role in designing high-performance control systems. It ensures that control algorithms preserve the system's Hamiltonian structure. In summary, symptic geometry has practical implications across various domains in physics. Noether's theorem, named after the German mathematician Emmy Noether, is a fundamental result in modern physics. Let's explore its creation and significance, historical context. 
Emmy Noether (1882–1935) was a brilliant mathematician who made significant contributions to algebra, topology, and theoretical physics. In 1915, she formulated two theorems that revolutionized our understanding of symmetries and conservation laws. The first theorem, Noether's first theorem, published in 1918, states that every continuous symmetry of the action integral over time of a Lagrangian function of a physical system with conservative forces corresponds to a conservation law. The action principle, based on the principle of least action, allows us to determine a system's behavior. Symmetries and conservation laws. A symmetry in this context refers to a transformation that leaves the system's equations of motion unchanged. Examples. Spatial rotation symmetry leads to conservation of angular momentum. Time translation symmetry leads to conservation of energy. Mathematical formulation. Noether's theorem can be described using both Lagrangian and Hamiltonian mechanics. In Lagrangian mechanics, symmetries correspond to transformations that change the Lagrangian only by an arbitrary time derivative. These lead to conserved quantite ties. In Hamiltonian mechanics, transformations are characterized by their generators, phase space functions, Q. If the generator has a vanishing Poisson bracket with the Hamiltonian, the transformation is a symmetry, and the generator itself is conserved. Field theories and beyond. Noether's theorem extends to field theories, both classical and quantum, using Lagrangian mechanics. It does not apply to systems that cannot be modeled with a Lagrangian alone, for example, systems with Rayleigh dissipation. Legacy and impact. Noether's theorem fundamentally connects symmetries to conservation laws. It shifted physicists' focus toward understanding the symmetries inherent in physical systems. In summary, Noether's theorem is a cornerstone of modern theoretical physics, revealing the deep relationship between symmetries and fundamental laws of nature. Noether's theorem has practical applications in various areas of physics. Here are some examples, spacecraft trajectories. Simple tick techniques based on Noether's theorem are used in designing spacecraft trajectories. Efficient numerical methods help compute accurate trajectories for space missions 1. Analysis of chaotic systems. Chaotic systems, for example, celestial mechanics or fluid dynamics, benefit from simple tick methods. Simple tick maps preserve the underlying Hamiltonian structure, making them suitable for studying chaotic behavior. Numerical methods for differential equations. Simple tick integrators provide stable and accurate numerical solutions for Hamiltonian systems. They maintain energy conservation and long-term stability, crucial for simulations in physics. Control systems. Simple tick geometry plays a role in designing high-performance control systems. It ensures that control algorithms preserve the system's Hamiltonian structure. In summary, Noether's theorem has practical implications across various domains in physics. That was all, goodbye.